Some new users to websites such as Bloxflip may find the website difficult to use, so in this video I'll be giving the beginner's guide to Bloxflip. This video is not sponsored by Bloxflip, but you're welcome to visit the website using the link in the description. When you first visit Bloxflip, you'll be required to sign in. This will involve entering some sensitive Roblox data, such as your username or password, or your Roblox cookie. Although I wouldn't usually recommend doing this, Bloxflip requires this information to make deposits and withdrawals a streamlined process. However, it's down to you to decide whether or not to trust Bloxflip with your information. Once you've signed in, you'll need to deposit some Robux. I would recommend depositing with Roblox items or Robux, but Bloxflip offers many different methods for you to deposit. Once you've made your deposit and have a Bloxflip balance, you'll be able to begin playing. As I make this video, they have eight game modes, and I'll be explaining how they all work in this video. First of all, there is Crash. You join the game, and then you need to cash out before the rocket crashes. If the rocket crashes before you've cashed out, then you lose your wager. But if you cash out before the rocket crashes, then your wager will be multiplied by whatever the multiplier was when you cashed out. There is then cases. Blocks Flip actually has a variety of cases which you can open either on its own or in a battle against other players or the bot. When you open a case, you will receive the credit value of the item you win. If you're in a battle, then the person who pulled the highest item will win everything and the person who pulled the lowest item will walk away with nothing. Next up is mines. You can select the better amount than the amount of mines you want. The more buttons you click, the higher the multiplier will go. But if you click a mine, then you'll lose your wager. Next up is towers. There's three game modes, easy, normal, and hard. The objective of this game mode is to climb the tower. You start at the bottom, and then you can click one button per row. On easy, there is two correct paths and one mine. On normal, there's one correct path and one mine. And on hard, there's one correct path and two mines. If you hit a mine, then you instantly lose. But if you go through the correct path, then you can move up the tower until you wish to cash out. We have then got cups, which is basically a coin flip. You can do a two, three, or four player game. You then select the cup you'd like to be and the amount of players you want in the game. Everyone then joins with the same amount of Robux and the winner takes all, with the remaining players walking away with nothing. Next up is jackpot. You can join a game with as much as you want, and the more you join with, the more chance you'll have of winning. The winner of the jackpot walks away with everything, and the remaining players will walk away with nothing. Then we have roulette. You can join as either red, purple or yellow. Red and purple will both double your wager and yellow will multiply it by 14. However, yellow appears much less on the wheel. You only win if the roulette wheel lands on the colour you choose, otherwise you lose. And finally we have Plinko. Again, there's three difficulties, easy, normal and hard. You then select the amount of rows you have, which will modify the multipliers at the bottom. You can then begin the game and the ball will drop from the top and fall to the bottom. You'll then receive whatever multiplier the ball lands on. There's then some other additions to the site, such as the race. When a race is active, the more you wager, the higher up the race you'll go, and the top 10 users will receive a reward. Once you've finished and you want to withdraw, you can withdraw any of the Robux or Limiteds. If you want to withdraw in Robux, it will take you about a week to arrive. However, if you want to withdraw in Limiteds, then you will need Roblox Premium, but it will be instant. So, that is all for this video. I hope you found this video useful, but if you've got any questions, you can ask them in the comments or in my Discord server, which I'll leave a link to in the description. I hope you've enjoyed, and thanks for watching.